He's going to wear number eight. And, Kobe, uh, this is for you. Thank you very much. And also a hat. <laughs> And used to watch Magic Johnson bring the ball up the court at night. I used to envision myself, you know, in the hallways at the house, knocking down lamps and, uh, you know, creating all kinds of chaos in the house and thinking that I'm Magic Johnson. And it's just like a, it's just like a dream come true. Opens up the floor, the double team Gasol now, the single coverage by Landry, Ariza dropped down, Kobe, oh, up high, down hard, Kobe brought it. Follow your passion first. Um, when I retired from the game, you know, I sat there asking kind of all the wrong questions. You know, what's the biggest industry I can get into? And it's all the wrong stuff. And you got to sit there and ask yourself, okay, what am I truly passionate about? What do I enjoy doing? And when you feel that way, I, honestly, I mean, you feel like you have never worked a day in your life. It's the most fun thing in the world. You get up in the morning excited about what you're doing. And you got to be really honest with yourself about it. If you wake up in the morning and you're dreading going to work, dude, do something else. Right. Do something else. And those are hard decisions to make. But when you make those decisions, it's a very liberating experience. And you find out that the rewards will come. I think the best way to prove your, your value is to work, is to learn, is to absorb, uh, to be a sponge. But you always want to outwork your potential. As hard as you believe you can work, you can work harder than that. And that's what I tried to do when I first came in the league. But, you know, basketball is such a direct competition sport. And me coming in at 17, I hated when, like, my teammates would say, you know, I get hit with an elbow, right? Shaq would hit me with an elbow in practice. And, like, you know, <laughs> you know Nick Van Exel would come up and say, are you okay? I'm like, what? <laughs> hey, Mal, are you okay? <laughs> What the hell is wrong with you? You know, so like I always had that extra chip on my shoulder. So like every day in practice for me was really trying to annihilate everybody that was that I was playing against. Because I wanted to prove you don't need to babysit me. Like I, I'm fine, <laughs> you know. And uh, and so it's always um, that competitive nature, the work ethic, and curiosity. Because I asked a lot of questions. You know, playing with Byron Scott, I asked him a lot of questions. Eddie Jones, who was great at chasing guards off the screens, and I didn't understand how to do that. I would sit with him before practice, after practice. Magic, all the Laker greats, I would always sit down and just ask him questions about certain games that I studied growing up. What actually happened there? What did you feel there? Why? Mm -hmm. right. To do that, you have to practice, you have to train. Right. You want to train as much as you can, as often as you can. So if you get up at 10 in the morning, train at 11, 12, say 12, train at 12, train for two hours, 12 to two. Um, you have to let your body recover. So you eat, recover, whatever. You get back out, you train, start training again at six. Train from six to eight. Right? And now you go home, you shower, you eat dinner, you go to bed, you wake up, you do it again, right? Those are two sessions. Right now imagine you wake up at three, you train at four, you go four to six, come home, breakfast, relax, so, so, blah, blah, blah. Now you're back at it again, nine to 11. Right, you relax, and now all of a sudden you're back at it again, two to four, and now you're back at it again, seven to nine. Look how much more training I have done by simply starting at four. Right, and so now you do that, and as the years go on, the separation that you have with your competitors and your peers just grows larger and larger and larger and larger and larger. And by year five or six, it doesn't matter how, what kind of work they do in the summer, they're never going to catch up because they're five years behind. <laughs> right? So it makes sense to get up and start your day early because you can get more work in. If I start earlier, I can train more hours. And I know the other guys aren't doing it because I know what their training schedule is. Right? So I know if I do this consistently over time, it's, it, the gap's just gonna widen and widen and widen and widen and widen and they won't be able to get that back. Mm -hmm. So it, to me, it was just common sense. I'm like thinking, how can I get an advantage? Oh, start early, yeah, let's do that. How do you how do you develop that, or where do you what do you learn that from? Well, I, I think it's just you know, it's just a matter of what's important to you. Mm -hmm. What's important to you for for whatever reason, you know? I, I felt like um, I didn't feel good about myself if I wasn't doing everything I could to be the best version of myself. Mm -hmm. If I felt like I left anything on the table, um, it would eat away at me. I wouldn't be able to look myself in the mirror. 
So the reason why I can retire now and be completely comfortable about it because I know that I've done everything I could to be the best basketball player I could be. We don't need no shot clock to tell us we up on the score Lying about the bees in the interview, that nigga bull I used to look up the older brother, but that nigga told My members like the ops when they locked up, they in the hole Bum bouncer, how the fuck you leave your man out in the cold? Y'all let a bitch snatch the burner, you let niggas take your sneeze Melatonin on the 40, we put shorty straight to sleep We put niggas under six feet, that's how we make it deep Let's get rid of the rest of seven, that shit ain't gonna take a week I'm a real mob member, nigga, this shit too in me I don't think the law gonna forget Givers, we got too many. This a Ashton, you know the dashboard got 220. You know we got old bees, you know we got new money. We don't do no rat cat. Baby got that yacht in his backpack. Post up on that block, they can't clap that. Leave you make a dock, go get the drop the way they track back. How do y'all get found without no block? Fuck they gas set. Run in front of feds, they keep kicking in my mom door. Getting money in my babies, all that I got time for. My little brother trying to score. I respect that, I just tell him grind more. He told that nigga sold out like kind. Shoot his face, we want John Doe Before I ever be broke, I'ma grind slow Real like gangsta, nigga, my mind know You bouncing out, I'm trying to go Know we roll the factors in the fine So just drink with me like we in Toronto This sound my built I watch too many of my niggas get killed I still ain't visit his mom cause this guilt Got me out here on two He told me his mouth silk, but he spilled They like still, homie, he might catch up the will He a goofy, out my root Yeah, these cars mine, the law dope Them that nigga played with us, somebody killed them They skinny, then I built Catch my old cheat and make a milk em. Freak burner jam, baby shook them Beef shit had put reef in a bad situation I told him, bro, don't let me down Look at jail like a vacation Told him, hold his water, don't be selfish Had patience, been beefing Me and some of the eyes got relations He sent a heart emoji every time I post my son Can't sleep peeking out the window While I'm on the run Hey nigga in this fucking world, want to get it done Six flags, we gon' ride when we looking to have fun And I know time man proud of me I know I ain't I block tired of me Up on that car they get on side of me This shit a joke, it gotta be We ain't to be played with, obviously I don't even give my mom apologies That nigga on the phone telling 240 sorry You know all these burners got turkey But like Ari, this AP no Cardi Next op drop, let's have a party My favorite one got killed, it scarred me Absolutely beautiful, you guys. I can't believe it's come to an end. Um, you guys will always be in my heart. And uh, what can I say? Mamba out.